Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shaniva Early, your craft doctor, and I'm here with my last Anna Griffin Create for the week. Um, what I'm doing is the memory album, or it's, it's called the album making dies, but it's a memory album type of die set. Um, with this set, it gives you all the pieces to make your, um, spine and embossing folder to emboss your pages and two different styles of dye. This is really an easy to put together kit if you know how to do it. Once you get the hang of it, you're going to be able to make these so quickly you won't believe. It's just really getting the hang of how to do it. This is not anything new. All she has done for us is added convenience because most people make their own spine. Um, and, but her convenience of providing the spine and showing the techniques using her um, products is what made this uh, a game changer for most. It added, it, I didn't even think of one of the things that I'm going to show you. And it was sitting in front of my face the whole time because I make many albums all the time like this is is the frame for my mini album and I did this myself. I didn't have a um die or anything to do it, right? So, let's get started with her stuff. Okay, so first these are the dies. This is the decorative die. This is the second decorative die. And this one is the one that makes the spine. Now, I have a lot. I'm going to do the spine first because I have a lot of semi-examples that I want to show you. Um, when you get finished with the die, it's going the spine die, it's going to look like this. And these is what the pages go into in order for you to be able to make the book open and close. Okay? So this is what we're going to end up with. But we're going to come to this in more than one way. Okay? This is just made out of the paper that was in her kit. She gave us some white paper, pretty thick consistency um, to use. But I, I I changed some stuff and I added some stuff to it. So this is the embossing folder. Okay, so um, I, I started it off. All I did was cut it out. This is what it looks like when it's cut out. This is it, right? So then... This die has some key things to keep your mind on. When you look at it, and this is all nicely embossed, the back side isn't. So you know that this is the front. This is the part that you want to see on the inside of the book. So when you see the embossing and you need you need to know which one is the front or back, this is the front. Okay? Um, this, these little pieces, points, come from here. So when you see those, you know that's those points, right? There's four of them. One, two, three, four. The other two are these ends, right? Okay. When you're doing this, when you're looking at this and this is flat on your desk and you're like, what the world? This is what you do. Take this die, cut and turn it like this. And then you can visually see those little points, right? All you have to do is those points, is that score line, pull up your score line like that. Pull up that next score line like that. I didn't do the next one on purpose, right? So it's a score line right here, and those two side score lines, you're going to pull it up just like that. So you're basically making a mountain, 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 right? Just like that. So you're just taking that score line, you're pushing it upward, and then you laying it back down. So what you're doing is you're making a mountain here and a valley on the sides. So you're making a mountain on the, on the top and a valley on the sides. And if you keep training yourself to do that, that is all you're doing. So you're picking those ones with the little dentation and you're pulling them up. That's all you're doing, right? And then this one right here, since it's the end, it goes up because it's a part of the design feature. 
See how quickly and easy and you don't have to think about it because when you're looking at it like this, you're like, what? Turn it over and you can see the points where, which you know, those are the ones that go upward, right? So I would suggest before you put tape on it or do anything, put your creases in there so you know where your tape will go. I personally put tape on every crease. Why? You're going to need it. So why not put it on each line that it's each line everywhere? Because let me rephrase that. You may not need it, but if you cover up the back of your spine on your book, if you once you put them together, you don't want to see this. So you want to get a piece of paper that's going to cover this up. So if you already have your tape here, you're not worried about trying to figure out and put that tape on when you're done. So that's what you want. So why not put your tape on all at one time? So in each lane, just put your tape. Put your tape all the way across it. Once you have just determined the ones that you need, put your tape on it. Work these out, right? So then you're going to flip this over, and you already know that... This is your, this this piece here is folded in. These are folded in. You've already done it, right? So, put your tape in there. Put your tape in there. You can start out right there. Putting your tape right in those gussets. Gullies? Gullies. Right? Put your tape in there or your wet glue or whatever it is that you use. Put it in there. Okay, one thing that I do, I do extra is I take a glue stick and I run me a glue stick right through it only because if I mistakenly not put it in the right spot, I can take it up. Now, it's kind of hard because you've already made your score lines already creased to make a mistake, but it never hurts, right? Or if you don't want to do that, once you, once you pull off your tape, these are all some nice little tricks that you can figure out if you like or not like or want to do or don't do. It's tape in there, but tapes can rotten over time. Put you a little wet glue in there. Don't go all the way to the edges, but put you a little wet glue in the little gully. And then when you fold that, that piece in just like that, it's glue down there. It's glue in there. right so now you have some more reinforcements because that glue will help you that glue will help it stick for you and that wet glue will give you maneuverability time um it'll give you time to work it in so i have two right it'll give you some working time so then go to number three and if you say, I got good tape, I don't really care, I want to do all that, just bring them together. Voila. Just bring them together. And it's, it's matched right up. You see how easy that matched right up? So take off that last set of tapes. And make sure this is something else I want to show you. You see how I have little pieces of tape right here? It's right there. It's tape. Make sure there's no tape over the edges. Clear your edges of tape. It will cause you problems later if you don't. But see that? You see how now I have all four of them score lines flattened out? And then just take your bone folder and work that in just like that. And now you have your tape right in the spots you need it. And if you turn it over, there go your little bindings right where you've had them, just like that. See? And work them. Work them one side, the other side. One side, the other side. And you know, the reason why you do that is so when you get ready to put this in your book, it will work. And it'll go from one side and it's not stiff. Okay? So you have literally just made your spine. And there you go.
you have just made your spine piece, right? So that looks just like this. Sands the tape on the sides. Same thing, right? Now, my other example is, remember I said I was going to put tape on all of it? I did that. It's, tape is everywhere. That's why once you know where the little points are, you have to put tape on it all. Now, this is a little overkill because you only really need tape. Well, no, it's not. You need tape on there if you're going to cover up your spine. So, the thing that I added to this, if you can tell, you hear that? This is the part of the thing that's going to make the most movement. And you're going to add those heavyweight pages on here. You want a thick spine. See that compared to this? The reason why this is so sturdy, as it were, I added Tyvek. This is Tyvek. This is just a regular envelope. When you get a, a mail, you go. You can get these from the post office. You can buy them from your office supply store, whatever. What I do is um, I get them from my post office. I, I have a stamps uh, account, and I ask them if I can have some. I'll, if I'm at the post office, I'll go in and ask them if I can buy some. So I can get these, but it's just Tyvek. You can buy Tyvek from Office Depot, Lowe's, probably on Amazon. It's just some sturdy paper that you can't tear, right? You can't tear it. So what I did was I took the die and I die cut it to the size of this. I ran it through my Xyron to put tape on it and I matched it up. That's why you can see a little black because mine is black and white. That's all I did. So now all I'm going to do is turn my thing over, bring this up, and make my mountain. Because all you're going to do is make that mountain. But look how much more work I have to do because there's this little tightness because this is strong. I'm going to go to my next one, and I'm going to make my mountain. And it's so much stronger than not adding that Tyvek. I'm making my mountain going this way and I'm going this way and I'm going to do the same thing with this one it's a little work but it'll. I'm telling you in the long run when you give your people those books they'll last see that? strong and then do that last page. All the creases are still there. It's actually doubles, double creases because I added the Tyvek using the same die. Same thing. So I got my little creases just like that. And then there go my gullies right there. So I'm just going to take off my tape and I'm going to match up my little gullies. And you know where they go because it's got that little point, that little dip, which is a really a good thing because I have another die and it doesn't have that dip. And so I have to make sure that I'm in the right spot. All right. And when I'm making it myself, I really have to make my spine and I have to make sure it's in the right spot when I'm making my own spine. And it might look confusing because there's tape everywhere. But once you start doing this, after your third time, it's a charm. That third time, you're going to be like, I got this. Okay. And so, see that? There is my tape. In here, in here, in here, in here. And there go my sides. And you see how I have tape. And the reason why I added tape in these is because you can cut little strips and put them in there. So if you don't want the tape in here, you don't have to put the tape in here. But if you want it, put it there. If you want to decorate, all you have to do is get your little strips and you put them in there. It's like a, um, an extra decorative element so you don't see white or you don't see the tie back. It's up to you. You can do it however you like. For this book, I'm going to add those, and that's the reason why I put it all over. But if you don't want it, don't do it. 
but the back you want it on the back because when I take this all off now I don't have to worry about not having tape all the way full coverage you must have full coverage in order for this to work you want full coverage tape all the way from one end to the other and you don't want it to be hanging off like this. You don't want this to be hanging off. Okay, so that is our Tyvek. And now this is extra strong, movable, extra strong. And you just work it in like you do the other one. Work it, work it, work it. And there you go. So that's the spine, right? Okay, so... Which one did I? Yep, yeah, this is the one. This is the one that I started with. So the 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 game changer that she made me realize that I didn't even pay attention to was the fact that she uses cards. These are just her card bases that are double sided. This whole time I didn't even realize I could have just used cards. Go get you some blank five by sevens or five by seven card bases, they're already strong and voila and build on it. So you're not cutting paper. You're not cutting. This one I embossed. As you can see, I use the embossing folder to give a little extra. And for this one, like these are all double sided. They're made for this. She created them for this type of thing. This is her regular one, right? I got this off the birthday one. This side is already printed. This side isn't. This is a piece of paper. Didn't it cover it right up? This is my design to go right on top of it. Works wonderful. Looks wonderful. Doesn't have to worry about having that double sided. So any paper you have, if you get white bases, just cut your mats, cover it up. Or cut your mats and don't cover it up. It's up to you. Right, so then what I discovered that she did, and the reason why she uses these card bases, let me find it, it's right here at the bottom. She did this, you see that? Tape, tape. So instead of putting the tape on here, so if you don't wanna put the tape all over, put it inside your card base, right? So I want my first one to be this blue with the gray, I want the gray to be on the outside. So all I'm gonna do is take this tape off, take this tape off, and take this card base, and I'm just going to stick it right in there, right up against that score line, making it even on both sides. And that's it. It's even on both sides. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? Now I have my card base right in there, right? For this one that's already got the tape on it, if you feel that you can't do what I just did, take that one, lay it up against this, just like that, lay it right up against it, make sure it's even on all sides, and lay that down on top of it. That may even make it easier for you. It's up to you. What I did in order to make this a pocket, I put some tape right here. So now there's my tape on the other side right here and here. And all I'm going to do is close my card just like that. Now, if I want to, I have just made a place to add... Oh, that's too big. I need one that's smaller. Um, oh, let's see if this piece of paper will work. Um, you made a tag is basically what I'm telling you. You can put stuff in there and it'll, it'll stop right there. Because for heaven's sake, almighty. See, it makes it, it goes right in there and it stops. See? So now you can put stuff in here and make your own tag as opposed to the first one that I did that doesn't. Okay, so that's that's how you do this. And you see how you're building this up? 
see how that looks wonderful you see how this part here is white if you don't want that put your tape in there and cover it up with a strip put you a nice gold in there look will look beautiful so let's let's do that again it's it's really simple you can either put your tape on the card base you can make a pocket if you want or if you don't want it's up to you and put your tape on the other end just like that all you got to do is butt this right up against this score or this um right up butt it up against because and you you don't have to worry about it being too close you want it right up against it because when you lay it down it's going to push it over so that it will fit right in that spot so it's not too close right so like look i have a little extra piece of tape make sure that you get that tape off remember i told you it was going to cause a problem that's the problem like that and look at that fits fabulous let's take this part off this part off and all i'm gonna do is lay this card right down in that crease and voila and look how even that is those are even on all sides perfectly fine so now i'm gonna do this one where i put my tape on on the actual mechanism I generally put it on the mechanism because I don't usually know what I'm going to use. And so I want all of that wonderful coverage. Green open. Okay. So all I'm doing is sticking that right in there. I'm making sure that I'm even with the rest of them. Make sure that you're even because you don't want a crooked book. You don't want a crooked book and lay that right down. So either way, it will work. Either way, it will work. Okay, I didn't add that. I didn't make that a pocket. So I'm just going to lay that down just like that. And voila, it's all still even. Okay, now I'm going to do this one. I'm going to add this right here. I'm going to add this right here. Right Make sure you're burnishing that tape. It folds nicely on either side. I'm going to take this tape off. I'm going to take this tape off. I'm going to take this card base, and I'm going to put it right in there. I'm lining it all up, y'all. See that? I'm lining it all up. But this time, I'm going to put this piece of tape right here because I can make a pocket just because I didn't put it on there on the actual card base doesn't mean you still can't make your pocket you still can make your pocket so make sure that you're even and lay that down and lay that down and voila there we go we're even yep it's even there we go and then this last one which will be your back The, it's something else I want to tell you before I put this back on. You see this piece here? No, we're not going to. I'm not going to do it that way because I might confuse you. I was going to tell you another way, but I'm just going to keep on doing it this way, and I'll show you that other way at the end. Okay? So all you got to do is make sure everything is matched up and lay that down. Open that up and lay your card base down, just like that. See that? Isn't that wonderful? So what I was getting ready to tell you is once you have your, you see now I don't have tape here. Now I have to go back and put tape here, which is an, it's an extra step that I could have done before. And see how much awkward it can be to add tape? But this is what I want to tell you. Take this here and measure this. This is 
a little bit over two inches or they're about two inches, two inches. So I'm going to take this piece here, right? We'll take the green side and we're going to cut this piece. Is that the right? Yep. We're going to cut this piece to four inches, right? We know we need two inches for the inside. So we're going to score this at, we're going to score it at one inch. We're going to turn it over and we're going to score it at one inch, right? And now we're going to take this piece. You can put the tape in here if you like. It's up to you. But you take this piece and you put it right in there. Now you have an easy, even sturdier cover because you have covered up that back side. So see that? So since this one is does have tape, I'll take this out so I can have a, a run and start. I'm going to cover that piece right there. So now you can see how you can cover up that back without having a break. And then just decorate as usual. So decorate however you want to decorate. So I'm going to take this piece here since this is my front. And so, and you decide which one is going to be your front, which one is going to be your back, how you want it. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to put two pieces of tape here so I can secure this on here. Right? Just like that. Bring that to it so it can open nicely. See that? Okay. And so now I can just decorate this up, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take me a, um, where's my tape runner? Oh, I can never find that thing when I need it. That's okay. We're going to just take some tape. Just like that. Get my mess out of the way. See? We're going to make sure you burnish your tape so you can pick it up. Okay? And then so you choose whatever color you want to that coordinates. See that? That goes right there. We're going to take this piece, which is a piece that I cut out from the die. I got all my little paper scraps right over next to me, which I should have did this in the Zyron, but it doesn't matter. You don't have to if you don't have one. You don't have to worry. Just put you some tape on here to make sure that it sticks down. See that? And then let's take off our tape. We're going to take off our tape on this. Come on, tape. Come off. <laughs> okay. So you can put your tape on here, or if you prefer, you can glue all, put glue on all of this. I usually take my glue in order to not get a lot. I just put it directly on the actual surface and I drag it. So then I'm not getting a lot of glue. I'm getting glue out the bottle, but because I'm dragging it, it's dragging flat. And so I don't have a whole bunch of glue. See that? You barely can see the surface of that glue. And we're going to take this piece and we're going to just put it right on the front of our book. See that? Just right on the front of our book. And then I have these pieces that I've already worked with. Remember that swirl? This is that swirl that I made um, for off my Cricut machine and I die cut this piece out the center. And so all I'm going to do 
is add it right back in there and you decorate however you like to decorate. You could actually leave the top of this open so you could slide a picture in and out if you like or however you like to do it. I'm just going to marry this back in there with that foam tape. I'm going to put it in there as best as I can, just like that with that foam tape, giving it some right, right, uh, height. I ran this through my Zyron maker, my sticker maker. Isn't it wonderful? I love this Zyron sticker maker, but because I have that little web stuff, it drives me nuts because I can never get it all off. So I just use my little EKC, EK Success tool and I take it off. So I'm just putting this right down here. And you see, I have a little bit of glue. Run this right here, this powder tool, and it gets off that sticky. Any powder too, they have them in the little powder bags. You can use some um, regular talcum powder or whatever, however you like it. And so then I'm going to take these, which I've already put back in on them. And I'm going to put that here. I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to put this one here. And one of the things that Anna taught us in there, and, and I didn't pay attention to it, but when she puts her sentiments or anything down, she puts one over and one under. So this is going to be under. That is going to be over. Just like that. That's how she does hers. One over and one under. So this is, I put two pieces of foam, doubled it up. So it can have a little bit of extra height. That's under. This is over. Just like that. And because I double that up, it has a little bit more height. And that is the front of our book. <laughs> Look at that. And this could be for anything. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be for any occasion. And this book flips perfectly over so you can see each page and I'm going to go back and fill these in because I really like um to put some gold inside these little pieces so they're not white and that is my memory book thank you for joining me I appreciate you I know I normally do my classes live but I need to be able to do this without talking um to my wonderful people to the wonderful subscribers and so that's why I did a taping so thank you so much, everybody, and I will see you in the next one. Let me put this right here because it always seems to whatever picture I'm kind of last on, that's kind of what is in the, the shot. <laughs> so thank you so much. I appreciate y'all watching my video. I hope you learned something from it. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will be back tomorrow uh, or the next day with the snow globe. I really want to do the snow globe because um, I haven't done it this year. And I'm using that as one of my 80 Christmas cards that I have to produce for our group. So thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one.